We're going to grab a chair for some TVA breathing and psoas stretching. If the chair is a little tall for you, place a yoga block under your front foot. If it's a little short, place it under the butt cheek on the chair. Take your hand to your baby, holding the abdomen. You can close your eyes here. Try to straighten your back leg, getting a nice stretch in the posturally tight hip flexors. Breathe with me laterally, breathing into your rib cage and upper back. Inhale. Pull the belly in towards the baby. Lift up way below the belly on the muscles that stop your stream of peace. Sustain that lift for the duration of your exhale. <sighs> Exhaling out the mouth like Darth Vader. Inhale laterally. Pull the belly in towards the baby. Lift up way below on those muscles that stop your stream of peace. Sustain that lift. Fog a mirror. <sighs> Keep going with that inhale. Belly to spine, deep lift way below the belly button, sustain it and exhale. <sighs> Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. One more here. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Slowly, let's make our way to the other side, setting up, making sure that front leg, the thigh isn't higher than the bony protrusion on your hip, squaring the pelvis to the side so you're seated nice and profile, back leg was working to straighten, front foot is fully connected to the floor, take the hand to the abdomen, inhale laterally, pull the belly in towards the baby, lift up way below on the muscles that stop your stream of pee, fog a mirror, Darth Vader like sound as you exhale, continue with that, inhale two, three, four, and exhale two, three, four. We inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Good. Three more breaths here. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Plug your shoulders down. Try to not forward lean. Put a backpack of cement on, sitting up nice and tall, relaxing the breastbone in towards the back body, puffing the shoulder blades back a hair, Widen the distance between your chin and your chest, not dropping that head forward. Beautiful. Let's set our chair to the side. From here, I'd like you to grab your red TheraBand, and we'll stand with our feet hip distance apart, standing on the end of the TheraBand for unilateral scaption work with head turns. Keep the knees soft, pelvis neutral, so no tucking and no arching the back. Pull the belly in towards the baby. Inhale, lift the arms up to a V, palms facing in, elbows soft, wrist below your shoulders. Chin lifted, gaze a little higher than eye level. Turn the head right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left. Lower the arms. Inhale, lift them up, plug the shoulders down. Turn the head right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Bring it center. Lower down one more time. Take it up. Shoulders plugged down, soft, Bend in the knees, put that backpack of cement on, start on those head turns when you're ready, widen your collarbone, relax your chest and your shoulders and your jaw. Once you complete that set, you can stand on the band on the other side, wrapping around the knuckles with the thumb on the outside, plug your shoulders down, soften the sternum and breastbone in towards the back body, lift way up on those muscles that stop your stream of pee, fog mirror as you exhale. Beautiful. And let's do these last two sets together. Inhale, lift, brace the abs, exhale, turn the head left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, come center, lower the arms, inhale, prepare, bring it up, low belly firm, lift up way below the belly button, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and lower the arms. We'll now go grab our chair and we'll need our green loop band. We'll bring it above our elbows like so for a chair plank. Bracing our abs, holding that plank, hands on the chair. Make sure the chair is by a wall, bar, or counter for security. So you're pushing it against something. Step back into your plank and keep your legs hip distance apart. I have this band here so that I can not only push down into the chair, but pull out with a micro bend in my elbows, feeling the triceps and posterior delts, the abductors of my arms so they don't atrophy. We'll be here for a full minute. Go ahead and get set up and get started. 
Breathe with me here. Inhale, plug the shoulders down. Exhale, lift the chin a hair. Inhale, belly button to spine. Lift up way below the belly button on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Fogging a mirror. <sighs> Sustaining that plank. Isometric hold. Puff the shoulder blades up towards imaginary hands hovering from them. Plug the shoulders down simultaneously. Deep lift way below the belly button on those muscles that stop your stream of pee. Stay lifted. Three more breaths here. Inhale one. Breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Exhale two. Inhale three. Exhale three. And walk it in. Turn around. Roll your shoulders back. You can lower the arms down, keeping on that band. Or take the band off and just roll your shoulders back for five, four, three, two, one. Set that green band to the side. Picking up your blue TheraBand, coming to a seated position on your floor slowly. Take your time. I'm going to demo, but you can just watch. The band will go, the center of the band will go around the arches of the feet. I'll wrap the ends around my knuckles. I'll sit up nice and tall with my low belly pulled in towards the baby. I'll tuck my butt under like a scared puppy and round halfway back. From here, I'll do three rows. One, two, three. I'll hold the final row, plugging my shoulders down. And just holding in this isometric hold for the lower pelvic floor for three breaths. Okay, join me at the top. Inhale, tuck the pelvis. Lift up way below the belly button as you tuck and round halfway back. Row for three, two, one. Hold this row. Inhale, one. Breathe. Lifting up way below the belly button on those muscles that stop your stream of pee. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale, two. Inhale, three. Exhale, three. Inhale, back up to your tall spine. Inhale, prepare. Brace the abs. Tuck and curl halfway back. Row for three, two, one. Isometric hold here. Deep lift way below the belly button. Inhale, one. Exhale, one. Inhale, two. Make sure the shoulders are plugged down. Exhale, two. Inhale, three. Exhale, three. Bring it up to your tall spine. Widen the collarbone. One more set here. You've got this. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, curling and rounding back. Three rows. One, two, three. Pause. Isometric hold. Inhale, one. Breathe. Exhale, one. Inhale, two. Exhale, two. You've got this. Inhale, three. Exhale, three. Inhale, coming back up to your tall spine. Set your blue TheraBand to the side. Come to a comfortable seated position. Place your hands on the belly for some more TVA breathing. Contracting and Kegeling, working on our Kegels to better those, the strength of those muscles for our pregnancy and for after pregnancy as well. So inhale with me laterally into the side body. Pull the belly in towards the spine. Lift up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee and fog a mirror as you exhale. Again, all we're doing is pulling the belly in towards the baby. And then way below the belly button, we're lifting up on the muscles that stop our stream of feet and trying to sustain that internal lift for the entire exhale. <sighs> Contracting and burning the fibers of the transverse abdominis, the deepest layer of our core. Join me. Inhale, two, three, four. Contract and exhale. Two, three, four. We inhale, two, three, four. And exhale. Two, three, four. One more here. Inhale, two three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Let's make our way into child's pose. And I'd like you to continue your TVA breathing. If you happen to be confused about TVA breathing, make sure you take in the mind and body section, level one, TVA breathing versus belly breathing. It's important you understand the difference in belly breathing and TVA breathing, especially when you're pregnant. So breathe with me here. Inhale, two, three, Four, belly goes in towards the spine. Internal lift of the muscles that stop your stream of pee as you exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale, pelvis grounds down towards the heels. Exhale, inner thighs pull back, deepening you into the child's pose posture. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. We inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Four, one more. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, 
three, four, rounding up. Great job. We're going to begin on all fours. We'll need our purple loop band and we'll place that around our outer thighs. So above the knees. We'll also need our three pound weight. I'll start with the weight in my left hand, pulling the hand to the hip and taking the opposite leg, my right leg, to a donkey kick position with the toes pointed. I want to work to square my pelvis to the floor, no hiking in the hips, sinking into one hip, lift up way below the belly button and the muscles that stop the stream of pee, puff your shoulder blades up towards the ceiling, and bending at the elbow to create a right angle, working on the tricep strength, I'm going to extend two, three, and bend two, three. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Keep your shoulders plugged down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Inhale, hold the arm by the side of the body. Brace the abdominals, little pulses of that arm up. Two, three, four. Inhale, pulse. Two, three, four. Plug the shoulders down. Exhale, pulse. Two, three, four. Inhale, pulse. Two, three, four. One more. Make sure the toes are pointed of the lifted leg and the shin and the top of the foot of the leg that's down are down, not tucked under. Beautiful. Pass the weight to the other side. We'll get a nice tricep stretch after we do the other side. Set up. Opposite leg lifted. Donkey kick. Toes pointed. Hips square to the floor. Puff the shoulder blades up towards the ceiling. Plug the shoulders down. Lift your chin, involving the underactive neck flexors. Bending from the elbow joint and extending. Four counts to bend. Two, three, four, and extend. Two, three, four. Exhale, bend. Two, three, four. Inhale, extend. Two, three, four. Exhale, bend. Two, three, four. Inhale, extend. Two, three, four. Nice. And bending. Two, three, four. Extending. Two, three, four. Good. Hold this next one. Little pulses of the arm. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, pulse the arm. Two, three, four. I may turn around so you can see the other side if I haven't. And you stay where you are. Just keep that arm at the side of the body with a micro bend in the elbow, pulsing up on your exhales. Pausing to reset and plug your shoulders down. Puff the shoulder blades up towards the ceiling. Lift the chin. Square the pelvis. And pulse the arms. Two, three, four. Beautiful. From here, we'll take the band off the thighs. And once the band is off the thighs and we set the weight to the side, we'll grab our foam roller, holding the center of our upper back with our hands, placing the elbows on the foam roller, widening our knees, allowing the baby to rest down on the floor in a moderate to wide leg, a wide knee child's pose. With the elbows on the roller, sinking the chest down, opening up the tricep heads here. Breathe with me. Inhale one. Exhale one. Inhale two, exhale two. Inhale three, exhale three. Inhale four, going to six, exhale four. Come back to that TVA breathing. Inhale, belly comes in, lift up on the muscles that stop your stream of peace, sustain it. Exhale. Again, inhale, belly towards the baby, active lift of the lower pelvic floor, sustain it, and exhale. One more. Inhale two, three. Four, exhale, two, three, four. Round it up. We'll now grab our three pound weight and we'll bring our red loop band around our outer thighs. We'll be doing clamshells and we'll also be adding external rotator cuff work for our upper body. So a couple of options with how you lie on your side. You can take the anti-burst ball, a pillow, or a yoga block and put it under the side of the head or... You can prop yourself up on your tricep and take the hand to the head. Or an even challenging, oh, an even more challenging one is to prop on the elbow and to really lift up through your lats that attach onto your armpit. So I want to give you those three options. The top hand's loaded with the weight and the upper arm and elbow are fixed at the side of the body. We'll begin with clamshells, keeping the heels glued and just opening the thigh and the forearm at the same time. Keep the wrist flat. Watch out for the torso leaning back or forward. Keep it square to me. Plug the shoulders down. Lift up way below the belly. On the muscles that stop your stream of pee, take a four count. Lift up, two, three, four, and lower. 
two, three, four. We lift, two, three, four, and lower, two, three, four. Toes are pointed, lift, two, three, four, and lower, two, three, four. Nice, lift, two, three, four, and lower. I know these are burning. Try to not break at the wrist. Try to not bring the hand in towards the face. You have a right angle with your upper and lower part of your arm you've created. Wrist is flat, no flexion in the wrist. Low belly firm, do one more, take it up. Two, three, four, lower down. Two, three, four, slowly sit up. Take it to the other side, set up with either the ball under the head, supporting the head on the tricep or the elbow and lifting up under the armpit where the lat attaches. Glue the elbow and, si um, and upper arm to the side of your body, creating that right angle and keep the ankles glued. Lift the thigh and the forearm up, two, three, four, lower down, two, three, four. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. Inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. Nice, inhale, lift, two, three, four. Exhale, lower, two, three, four. Two more, inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, Four, last one here. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Let's take, let's come up to sit, set the weight to the side, take off the band that's around our thighs, set that to the side. Make your way up to standing, grabbing a hold of your red TheraBand. You'll hold it in your hand and stand on the end of the band by a wall, imprinting your tailbone, mid-back and upper back. Backs of the arms, creating a cactus imprint. Soften the breastbone and sternum in towards the wall, trying to relax the front ribs towards the back ribs. Where are you not connected? It's okay if the neck and the low back aren't connected, but I want your tailbone, your mid-back, upper back, backs of the arms, including the wrist and hands, connected to the wall. From here, we'll do some presses. Inhale, press the arms up. Two, three, four. Exhale, lower them. Two, three, four. Inhale, press two, three, four, exhale, lower, two, three, four, nice, inhale, press, two, three, four, exhale, lower, two, three, four, keep going, inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, we inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, one more, inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, Walk your feet forward a foot, creating a penguin position. Tailbone remains connected. We're just going to release the upper back before we do the other side, allowing the upper back to hang over without losing the connection of the sacrum tailbone against the wall. Scoop the belly in towards the baby. Lift up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Your head may be resting on your belly, depending on if you're in your second or third trimester, probably, it, depending on your pregnancy. Let those arms pendulum away from one another, releasing the back, allowing the scapular, allowing your a little bit of winging in the scapular area since we've been in a nice upright position for so long. Inhale, pause. Lift up way below the abdomen on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Pendulum arms out. Two, three, four. Inhale, pause the arms. Two, three, four. External rotation from the top of the shoulder sockets. Two, three, four. Four, one more, inhale, two, three, four, arm circle, exhale, two, three, four, five, counts to round up, five, four, lifting up way below the belly button, plugging the shoulders down. Take that band, step on the end of it, takes a second, find your cactus imprint on the other side, tailbone, mid-back, upper back, backs of the upper and lower arms, wrists. Lift your chin so your gaze has not fallen down and you're not straining the back of the neck. So chin up, gaze soft, and we'll begin those presses. Inhale up, two, three, four, exhale down, two, three, four. Inhale up, two, three, four, exhale down, two, three, four. Inhale, lift, two, three, four, exhale lower, two, three, four. Inhale, lift, two, three, four, exhale lower, to keep fighting for that imprint, focus up higher than eye level, soften the breastbone, sternum, and front ribs towards the back ribs, imprint those back ribs, plug the shoulders down, collarbone wide, soften the gaze, finish up your last one, set the band to the side, come back to the wall for our pendulum, tailbone connected, 
Upper back releasing forward, lifting up on the muscles that stop your stream of peace. Circle the arms out. Two, three, four. Inhale, pause the movement. Two, three, four. Exhale, circle them. Two, three, four. Inhale, pause. Two, three, four. Exhale, circle. Two, three, four. Inhale, pause. Two, three, four. Last one. Circle. Two, three, four. Belly in. Lift up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Five counts to round up. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Grab your red loop band and bring it around your ankles. Coming to stand by a wall, bar, or counter. Hold on to that wall bar or counter, outside hand on the hip, inside foot comes into the band. I want you to not only kick that arch of the foot into the band, but take your leg and the hip socket and turn it out, which means external rotation away from the body, pointing the toes, soften your supporting knee. Bring your torso upright, imagine wearing a backpack of cement, pull the navel in towards the baby, lift up on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, small staccato lifts and lowers of the leg. Two, three, four. Inhale, pause the movement. Two, three, four. Exhale, lower lift. Two, three, four. Inhale, pause the movement. Two, three, four. Exhale, lower lift. Two, three, four. Inhale, pause. Hang in there. Keep your torso upright. Gaze soft. Shoulders plugged down. Low belly in. Soften the supporting knee. One more, slowly turning around to the other side, setting up. Now that outside hand, it could be behind the head, it could be just straight at the side or on the hip, whatever feels better. Make sure your supporting knee is soft. Your hips are square to the wall in front of you, so you're not sitting into one hip, you're not twisting in the pelvis. Those bony protrusions of the hips are shining like headlights to the wall ahead. The extended leg behind you is straight. Don't lock out in the knee though. A little micro bend in the knee, toes are pointed, plantar flexion. Widen your collarbones, soften the sternum in. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, little pulses up and down. Two, three, four. Inhale, pause. Two, three, four. Exhale, pulse. Two, three, four. Inhale, pause. Two, three, four. Exhale, pulse. Two, three, four. Three more sets. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. We inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three three, four. Let's do one more. You've got this. Come on, push yourself. And exhale, two, three, four. Take that band off. I know those are killer, really building up the strength of the outer hip. Grab a chair now for some wide leg chair bridging. Make sure it's against a wall, bar, or counter for your safety. You'll sit on it, walking back to where your upper back is supported. Your legs are Wider than hip distance, kind of like you're at the gynecologist, feet in stirrups. Subtle external rotation. Hold at the top. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one, and lower down. Two, three, four. Inhale, lift up. Hold. Exhale the air out. And lower down. Two, three, four. Inhale, lift. And hold. Exhale, lower. Two, three, four. Inhale, lift. Hold. Exhale, lower. Two. Keep that going, lifting, holding at the top, feeling the deep lift way below the belly button on the muscles that stop your stream of pee. If you're feeling any knee twinges, just make sure you're activating your core and turn your feet in. Perhaps you're turning your feet out and we want the rotation to happen from the top of the hips. And it should be subtle because the ligaments get really supple when you're pregnant and we don't want to overstretch or do anything to pull on those supple ligaments. Keep it narrow, excuse me, keep the external rotation subtle. Continue going. We just have another 20 seconds or so. These should feel so good. Building up the outer glute and lateral hamstring strength as you go up and down. Notice if your feet are rolling in or out. See if you can equalize the pressure between all the metatarsals. And if you feel back pain, by all means, come out of it, but you can also really check in with your abs and make sure you're pulling the belly in, you're actively lifting up on those muscles that stop your stream of pee. Give me one more, and then I like to put my hands on the ground and slowly lower down, and then carefully make my way back up to standing very slowly as the blood pressure 
can be, go a little crazy as you lower and lift when you're pregnant. Take your time coming up. From here, you can set the chair to the side. We'll use it again in a moment, but from, for now, I'd like you to grab your green loop band and put it around your ankles. The green loop band. Come back to your wall, bar, or counter, placing a hand on it. The other hand can be at your side, on the hip, or behind the head. Kick the inside foot into the band, and I want you to fully extend that leg behind you, and this time it's parallel, completely straight. Point the toes, and with the leg straight, the extended leg straight, we're going to bring the heel towards the butt. With the toes pointed, the band is around the arch of the foot. Watch out for forward leaning. Put your backpack of cement on. Pull the shoulder blades together. Soften your supporting knee. Widen that collarbone. Lift the chin. Gaze is soft. Continue on here. Make sure you're breathing. So, like maybe a four count inhale. Exhale, curl. Two, three, four, and lower. Two, three, four. Four, just make sure you're not doing this too quick because this is a strength exercise and I want you moving as slowly as you can. And there's a tendency for the knee to bend quite a bit, which makes the exercise much, much easier. So I'd encourage you to straighten that leg as much as possible, pointed toes, and try to bring the heel to the butt. If this is a really big challenge, you can go back to level one's orange band. There's no shame in taking and exercise back to level one if you're unable to do it with the current band level. Okay, let's slowly make our way to the other side, setting up, setting ourselves up for success by bending our supporting knee, finding out where we want to put that hand at our side, on the hip, behind the head, putting on our backpack of cement, bringing the arch of the foot into the band, extending it behind us, watching out for the forward lean, Imagine hands on the shoulder blades, puff the shoulder blades back to those hands, lift your chin, gaze is a little higher than eye level. With that straight back leg and the toes pointed, we can take the heel towards the butt, two, three, four, and lower it, two, three, four, inhale, lift, two, three, four, exhale, lower, two, three, four, stay connected, drive all movement from lifting way up below the belly button on those muscles that stop your stream of pee, stay active there. Keep your breath work going. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. And give me two more. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lowering. Inhale, lifting. And exhale, lowering. I'd like you to take off that green loop band, pick up your purple loop band, bringing it above your knees. With the purple loop band above your knees, you'll sit on your chair, and we're going to take that chair back by the wall bar counter, push it against the wall, and we'll come back into a glute bridge, but this time with our legs hip distance apart, feet parallel, parallel legs, hip distance apart. Once you're set up, you'll lower yourself down, two, three, Four, inhale, lift, hold at the top, exhale, take another inhale, and slowly lower down. So we have a full inhale and exhale at the top. Do it with me. So inhale, lift, exhale the air out, holding at the top, inhale again, and exhale, lower yourself back down. One more time, inhale, lift, exhale, hold, lifting up way below the belly button, inhale, stay up, feel the pelvis pulling towards the wall that's in front of you, towards your knees, in opposition, lengthening the side body. Exhale, lower. Keep going with that tempo. I'll remind you of your checkpoints, which help you do this exercise safely. Really connect with your breath here. Those hands can be on the hips, holding onto the chair, at the side of the body, resting on the thighs. Just get them out of the way so you can focus on the movement you're doing. Lift your low belly in and up. Stay aware of if you're switching into belly breathing, pushing the belly out, or if you're actively pulling the abs in and really recruiting way below the belly button, that TVA. Give me one more and slowly walk your way back. You can actually sit down, hands to the floor, sit down. Take off that purple loop band, setting it to the side, and we'll pick up our green loop band and come back to sit 
in our chair. Great job. 